Iliad starts at the top. So you have to have that senior leadership buy-in. You have to have a, a leader that's going to walk the talk, that's going to show a commitment to developing a culture of well-being in their organization. And so that typically involves some budget and some resourcing. So if you don't have a senior leadership team who are on board, I think it's going to be definitely a challenge in order to create a culture of well-being in the organization. So I say definitely starts at the top. Um, from there, you want to look at your data. I find employers that just kind of grab at, let's do a flu clinic or let's you know, run uh, a smoking cessation program without having looked at their data aren't going to see the uptake in the program that they're hoping for. So I recommend that employers look at their data and that can be their disability data, um, their drug data, their paramedical data, uh, workers' comp data, if they have it, employee engagement um, scores, um, any leading indicators of health, so health risk assessment, biometric screening clinic data, so as much data as you can get to look at where are the organizational health risks. Um, and from there, I would say um, asking employees what they want. So an employee survey is a good idea, or if you have those questions already in your um, employee survey results, that's great. Otherwise, do a wellness survey. Um, and then creating a committee. And HR is pretty much inundated these days. So involve people in the organization. And it needs to be a cross-section of employees from front lines to leaders. And these are people that will volunteer their time because they're passionate about health and well-being. 